Hello, welcome to the International Climate Action Challenge. I am so glad that you are here because something in you is inspired to take action on behalf of our Earth. I joined the Climate Action Challenge because we need to build the will for change. I'm working on creating an environmental group at my church, and I'm working to support my local chapter of the Climate Reality Project, a group that former Vice President Al Gore started 14 years ago. I wanna welcome you here as a champion for the environment. Your interest in taking up the challenge to initiate or grow an environmental project is championing a cause. So I will know you as that, powerful and creative. And I look forward to connecting with you in the chat rooms. Today, I want to remind you of some truths that I'm pretty sure you already know. But we need that to be reminded from time to time of truths that support us on our journey. By joining the Climate Action Challenge, you are connecting with a wellspring of support as we work with others, as we work as a team, we amplify our energy and our voice. The connection taps the creative mind, which will spark ideas and bring your vision into reality. Yet, it starts with you. So I want to remind you to consciously take care of yourself and include that component in your personal project plan. My wish for you is that you find it an easy, energizing, and rewarding endeavor to bring your dream to fruition. And I also know that the bigger your dream, the more challenges you're likely to encounter on the journey. And all of us are dreaming big when we dream for the health and well being of our planet. I suggest that you start with some journaling of the ideas outlined in Joan's book, Climate Action Challenge. Taking time to clarify your vision, to own it and highlight it in your consciousness is a proven way to tap energy and resiliency. Joseph Campbell spent a lifetime studying the mythology which underlies and powers human activity. To spend some time journaling about your hero's journey is to tap the power of an archetype and your personal history. This serves to remind you of your personal strengths and talents. As you think about what you'll be doing during the 90 days of the challenge, be sure to include personal care. It's an obvious truth that caring for yourself must come first because what can you accomplish when you are in a drained, unresourceful state? I encourage you to contemplate three dimensions of self-care, physical, mental, and spiritual. Now the physical, taking care of your body. Be conscious to get enough rest. Attend to diet and exercise. You don't help the environment eating fast foods. There is an inherent contradiction there. So many of the world's problems stem from the unhealthy pace of competitive capitalism. Take time to cook and appreciate healthy foods. The closer you get to a plant-based diet, the healthier your lifestyle is for both your body and the planet. Getting exercise is important too. I hope you make it fun and regenerative. The mental. I believe our minds are here to serve us, but too often the runaway mind enslaves us. Our thoughts can lead us into dark places, so it's important to develop mastery of the mind. That starts with having a practice to quiet the mind. Many have found meditation to be a good practice, and happily there are many free online resources for that. Some people find physical exercise a path to quiet the mind. It's nice to meet two goals with one action. Some people find poetry and other contemplative reading a good path to quiet the mind. When you can choose to quiet the mind, you open the door to choosing healthier, more supportive thoughts. And the spiritual. In my belief system, 
the deepest core spiritual self is always perfect, whole, and complete. So it isn't that we need to care for it as much as we need to care about our connection to it. I believe that connection comes through the heart. And the best practice to keeping the heart open is to the practice of appreciation and honoring. Take time each day to reflect upon the good in your life. And as you work with people, honor the good in them and be a mirror to help them shine. Regardless of what religious tradition you come from, the Hindu phrase, namaste, the idea that the God in me honors the God in you, it's a wonderful way to shift consciousness so that everyone is a supporter of your vision. I look forward to meeting you in the chat rooms. I'm an explorer and plan to visit them all. And you will find me most active in the group for building a faith-based environmental group. Namaste.